Hey YouTubers, this is Paul Lentz back for um, another video and what I'm going to talk about is how pissed off I was this morning when I woke up and I turned on my um, computer and I went to CNN and I saw the first news heading I saw was they found that 19 year old girl, that Shawnee Luke girl who was from um, um, She's a German Israeli citizen. The one that was on October 7th, she was at that music festival. And the Hamas cuck fucks, terrorist fuckheads, they grabbed her, raped her, or excuse me, gang raped her. And then, you know, paraded her down the streets of Gaza while these Palestinian fascist cuck fucks were yelling Agla Akbar. They spit on her. They hit on her. You could see fucking blood coming out of her ass. You could see her knees were bloody. Her elbows were bloody. I mean, they fucking roughly, you know, brutally gangbanged her on her hands and knees on a gravel fucking road. With no shoes on. Her hair was matted. So I'll let you use imagination while her hair was fucking matted. And then after they, you know, you know, she had to deal with the humiliation that came with being paraded down the streets around these fucking savage fucking Palestinians. They shoved her into a jeep, sped away to a likely another gang rape, and eventual murder by beheading. Because earlier this morning, they found her skull. I can only imagine how horrific the last hours of her life was. Imagine waking up one morning, you're 19 years old, you're going to a music festival with your friends and you're dancing, and all of a sudden, bam, these fucking Palestinian Hamas fucking terrorist cuck bucks are paragliding, shooting everybody, they grab her and kidnap her, fucking gang rape her ass. I mean, these fucking Palestinians always want to bitch about the West being corrupt, no family values. And then they make their women wear fucking tarps when they're out in public. And yet, they see an Israeli woman, they can't help themselves. They got a fucking raper, gang raper, over and over and over again. And yet they got the nerve to say Allah Akbar. Let me tell you something. If I gotta hear Allah Akbar one more time, I'm gonna fucking puke. The fucking Palestinians, fuck the Palestinians. You know, I'm tired of hearing about the bombings, you know, the hospitals, you know, that they're not getting aid, you know, they're being victimized by the Israeli bombings. You know what, motherfuckers? You brought this shit on yourself. In 2007, the Palestinians voted Hamas into power. That's right, motherfuckers. You voted Hamas into power. And you know what they say? Elections have consequences. And the consequence of that was Israel had no choice but to implement that blockade that was going to make your life miserable. Because if they didn't, just imagine how many more weapons, nukes, other horrific met weapons that Hamas would have if it wasn't for the blockade. I mean, you saw what they did on October 7th. They fucking gang raped a number of Israeli women. They cut the heads off of babies. They burned the elderly. All citizens. They killed over a thousand citizens. Slaughtered them. And yet you motherfuckers want to bitch when Israel bombs back and they target Hamas that, well, yeah, sure, there's some innocent Palestinians that got bombed and died. But you know what? The Palestinians that died during the bombings died a way better death than the Israelis did at the hands of Hamas. Hamas tortured them, okay? Hamas targeted them. But you know what? The Israelis, they weren't trying to target uh, Palestinians. They were targeting Hamas. But guess what? Hamas is using the Palestinians 
as shields. They use their fucking hospitals. They use their food banks. And, 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 and they think, well, Israelis ain't going to bomb them. But you know what Israel needs to do? They need to bomb is, uh, Gaza back to the fucking Stone Age. The, as far as I'm concerned, the Palestinians who are still in the uh, north of the Gaza Strip, you know what? You guys support Hamas. You're terrorists. Anything that happens to you, I don't feel sorry for you. You motherfuckers were fucking silent during the two years it took Hamas to plan this shit. If you motherfuckers were so concerned about peace, okay, you knew what the Hamas cucks were going to do. The Palestinians knew that they were going to go in there and kill babies and rape women and burn elderly people. So fuck the Palestinians, all right? I don't feel sorry for anything that's happened to them. You motherfuckers brought it on your fucking self. Simple as that. Look in the fucking mirror if you want a motherfucker to blame for your fucking plight in life, okay? You go down south and you tough it out. But here's what the thing is. All that aid that comes in, you know, through Egypt. I doubt that any of the Palestinians are going to stand up to Hamas who goes down there and tries to steal it and take it back to Hamas. You guys are all about fucking standing up to Israel. But when it comes to standing up to Hamas, you Palestinians are a bunch of fucking cucks. A bunch of cuck cowards is what you motherfuckers are. Yeah, all of, all of my nuts. I mean, unfucking believable. I support Israel going in there, bombing Palestine back to the fucking Stone Age, and then as they send the troops in there on the ground invasion, go into each and every building, each and every tunnel, like the Orkin Man, and exterminate those motherfuckers like the termites, like the termites that they are. Now I understand that there's some, you know, there's over 200 hostages that the Hamas has that are Israelis or American citizens. Well, my response is, you know what? Sometimes war has collateral damage. Hamas has zero interest in releasing the majority of these hostages. They'll release a couple at a time if it gives them time to stall. But Israel's like, you know what? Fuck Stalin. Fuck stalling. It's time for you motherfuckers to get got. And if it means that the hostages are going to fucking die, then guess what? At least the hostages won't die in vain. Because Israel's going to go in there and they're going to exterminate the fuck out of Hamas. And if that means the hostages die, that means the hostages died for a purpose. Israel needs to go in there and wipe these motherfuckers out, exterminate them, and clear Gaza out of Hamas. No living Hamas after all this is done. Once this is over with, then Israel can let the, quote, sane Palestinians back in. Now, there's going to be a rebuilding effort. I understand that. But as long as the Palestinians agree to elect a government that's sane, that's going to recognize Israel's right to exist, and not be fucking terrorists to raise their children to go to school and be peaceful neighbors, then I'm sure that Israel and the rest of the world will fund the rebuilding of Gaza. But you have to exercise Israel's right to exist. You don't acknowledge that, then you know what? Israel should just take over Gaza, put their settlements over there, and say, you know what, Palestinians, good luck. Stay in the South or go to these other Muslim nations that don't want your motherfucking asses over there. Because at the end of the day, I don't see any of these other Muslim nations begging to have these Palestinians fucking immigrate over there. Because you know why? Because the Palestinians are a bunch of fucking terrorists. They don't want their fucking, you know, Jordan, Egypt, Iran, they don't want their, their governments or their buildings get bombed as soon as the Palestinians get butt hurt over something. The Palestinians need to wake the fuck up and realize it's the year 2023, not 623. 2023, not 623. 
Wake up, motherfuckers. Anyway, the second thing I want to talk about is, you know, I've touched this in other videos, but it's, it's really, really, really starting to nag me. The more videos I watch about this, um, a few, last week you had this mass shooting in Maine. You had this guy who is, you know, with the National Guard, who's been, you know, extensively trained, you know, at marksman with, you know, with assault rifles, the AR-15s. And, you know, he had a mental breakdown and decided that he was going to go on a shooting rampage and he killed 18 people, wounded a bunch of others up in the state of Maine. And eventually he killed himself. Despite this motherfucker being in rehab, he was in a mental facility for a couple of weeks. Not one effort was made to take this motherfucker's guns. I want to make something clear. I am not against guns. I am more than okay with a motherfucker having a right to own a gun for self-defense, to hunt with a rifle. I'm okay with that. But an AR-15 is a weapon of war whose sole purpose is to kill as many as people as possible in as short amount of time as possible. An AR-15 should never be in the hands of a civilian. Anyone who wants to argue against that is a fascist motherfucker. No other way to put it. You're selfish and you're fascist. You don't see these mass shooters going into these public places with clocks, with Saturday night specials, with a long rifle, or a 44 Magnum. No. Their weapon of choice, overwhelmingly, is an AR-15. You know why? 